Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our daily advice for the energies of March 27th, 2019, give or take a day or so. Uh, and um, I just want to say thank you for joining me. As always, we're looking at energies, so these will play out very differently for everyone. So keep an open mind about, about the messages that are coming through and how they may or may not um, transpire in your life. And happy birthday to everyone celebrating your birthday on the 27th. Um, I will be pulling a card for you towards the end of the video as your special birthday treat. Um, and this could serve as guidance with something you're dealing with or just general guidance that will serve you when you need it, okay? So let's have a look at what is coming up. Oh, three major arcana cards. We had three swords yesterday didn't we and i definitely saw that energy transpire in my life definitely um i do feel like it was a turning point in terms of general mood and in general um energy and state of well-being um so let me know how it went for you but in today's reading what we have is the first card that we have is the sun so this is the influence of the past on our current situation. And this is illumination. So it may be the epiphany we had, the uh, conversation we had, we spoke our truth, we brought something to the light. In today's energy, we have the universe, which is the world card. So a completion, a true completion. You know what? I've just noticed this woman here. <laughs> and I've used this deck so many times. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I was just looking at the world card when I first got the deck and I thought, oh, okay. I was expecting to see a woman in there. I just missed her completely. Um, but yeah, so this is transformation. Yeah, it's completion. It's real completion. The end of a cycle, truly the end of a cycle. And this is freedom. This is lighthearted energy. Um, this is brand new beginning that we are very, very happy with. So it's not something we kind of have to deal with. It's something that is like a culmination of our success. It is reward for all our hard work, reward for everything we've been through. Okay, like the universe showing us, hey, this is why that had to happen, to get you here now talking to this person. Okay, so it's things really coming full circle. And it is coming up as not only realization, epiphany, seeing things from the bigger picture, seeing things interconnect, being able to connect the dots and say, oh, that's why that had to happen that way. Um, and this deep sense of, of freedom, independence, fulfillment, confidence, being completely at peace and at ease with who we are, where we are, where we're going, loving ourselves. Okay, maybe, you know, for a lot of us, that's not always something easy to do. But this is that kind of feeling. This is, I am more than enough. I am beautiful. I am deserving. And not only I'm telling myself this, but I feel it. I believe it. I feel it. Okay, so that's the energy of the world. And look, another transformation card in the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with. And this could be actual tomorrow or the future of the situation. We have the death card real change and transformation we are releasing what has served its purpose what has come full circle and it's truly the end of a cycle because we don't keep carrying it with us we don't go through it again and again and again and again so whatever we've been doing it's working and in today's energy and again, remember, this is energy. And with these being all of them major arcana cards, I feel like this energy will be with us for a while. Okay, at least at least a couple of weeks, I want to say. So if you don't see this energy right away, give it a, a bit of time. But we are moving towards complete transformation. Really being able to release burdens that maybe we've carried with us for our entire lives or for decades or for something that felt like an entire lifetime. A complete transformation of who we are with the world card and the death card. 
because we're coming into our power, because we are almost like we're rediscovering who we are, reinventing who we are, what we want, where we're going, our attitude, our energy, our approach to things, our hope, our faith, spirituality, on a day-to-day, -day, changing careers, changing where we live, changing, you know, getting a makeover, complete transformation to, you know, make sure that the outside matches the beautiful inside. New relationships, we're starting a, a life, you know, where we're single and we're independent and we're loving it and we are all we need, at least for the time being, you know. Being completely at ease, at peace, and happy, feeling fulfilled within ourselves, where we are and where we're going. And it is truly a turning point. It is truly a shift. We may have experienced this shift internally until now with all the, the things we've seen in our dailies. You know, first it was working through our emotions and then working through our thoughts and then going within. This energy brings it all to the surface. It makes it real. It makes it stick, you know? It's not something that's just in our heads. It's not something that is a phase. It's true transformation. For the better, absolutely. So don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of transformation. Allow yourself to experience this energy of the world card. That kind of peace that kind of confidence that you are enough and no matter what happens you can you can take it you can handle it and not only that you can turn it into something good because we've done that haven't we so we know we can do it our guidance card we have the polar bear stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome so this is what we're coming into we're standing up for ourselves we are uh, realizing how strong we are with the bear, how resilient we are, how self-sufficient we are. It's also, because these are all major arcanas, it's, and we were talking about, you know, seeing things from that bigger picture, bigger perspective. It's really feeling connected to the divine with the world card with our angels, our guys, the universe, whoever, whatever you work with and believe in, it's feeling that connection and knowing that, you know what? I don't have to struggle and stress out for a particular outcome. I know that if it's meant for me, it will come to me with the work I put in. And if it's not, then it's, it's just not meant for me because something else is meant for me that's actually gonna be a lot better for me. So it's learning to have that faith to really co-create. We trust that the universe has our back. We trust our guides. We trust our angels. We trust ourselves. So we don't have to fixate on a particular outcome. And if it doesn't happen exactly the way we want, that's it. We're, we don't know what to do. We're lost. This is, it's like, that's why the world card comes up as graduation because everything that we've been through has taught us that nothing ever is really just an ending. There is nothing, and even if we do experience an ending or a dead end situation, that's not something that we should take as a negative. It's not something that we should take as punishment. It's not something that we should take to mean that we're not worthy. It is simply guidance of no, not this way. There's something better for you. Try this way. So learning to trust our spiritual team. But it comes from that inner strength, confidence within ourselves that we can handle anything, and then confidence in, in our spiritual team that they will place the right opportunities on our path, that they will gently guide us towards what is meant for us and away from what is not good enough for us what is not for us what you know what i mean so it's just steering our path towards our purpose towards what is truly meant to be for us for our highest good so isn't this an amazing reading okay so let me know how these energies 
are coming up in your life. You may have already experienced these energies. Or you will be seeing them very, very soon. Keep me in the loop, okay? Let me know how these are coming up for you. But such amazing energies. I can't wait to... And I have, I have to admit, I have started to feel... At least I'm at the sun energy. <laughs> you know, so... Let's see. Right, so now for the beautiful birthday people celebrating your birthday on the 27th of March. Your card is that one. And remember, I'm not going to interpret this because it's a direct message, but you can pause the video, take the message in, the image. Okay, so we have, I listen with love to my body's messages. I don't think we've, we've ever had this. My body is always working towards optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. And that's the message on the back. So there you go. I hope that helps you. And take it however, however it resonates, however it makes sense to you and of course if it's not your birthday but this makes sense to you then take it as your message as well but yeah that's our reading let me know how this is coming up for you i'm looking forward to your feedback it's so beautiful it's so positive so i hope to hear from many many of you um so let's share the happiness yeah let's share this positive energy share our stories and encourage each other um but yeah let's have a wonderful day enjoy your weekly readings and uh, I'm working towards a schedule where I'll try to post the weeklies on the Friday for the week uh, ahead and then on the Friday to post the Monday daily so that you have it even though maybe my weekend might be dealing with unplanned stuff or I'm going away or something you won't have to miss that Monday reading which I usually do on a Sunday okay so that's our reading those are my plans uh, let's have an absolutely beautiful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow Bye for now.